What's up guys, Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today's figure review is the Bandai Earthtron figure. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but I believe that's how it's pronounced. Earthtron. And just to get straight on to the review, here is his tag that he comes with. He was number 20 in the series, and I believe... I'm not a big Ultraman fan, so I'm sorry if I screw up the Ultraman names, but I believe that's Ultraman Gaia that he's fighting. But, uh, you know, very nice tag, very nice picture of him and Ultraman Gaia fighting. He was number 20 in the series. Uh, very nice, you know, blues, blue color used for the tag. I like that. And then, of course, you know, just your basic, you know, jazz on the back with the phone numbers and information and all that other stuff. So nothing too crazy there. Uh, straight on to the figure with detail and paint job. He is a very nice deep. He's uh, he's like a deep bluish color to me. That's what it looks like to me. It's a very deep blue, and then a, his front here is like a very dirt colored brown. His eyes are very nicely colored. Very nice bright yellows and oranges with a very tiny black pupil all the way in the middle. A very nice kind of chrome sil silverish color here for the top of his head. Kind of makes him look like a bird or something. And, uh, you know, kind of a whitish, you know, color for his claws on his feet and his hands. And uh, just a very nice detail. His skin is very nicely textured. Looks somewhat like a, a Godzilla textured skin. And then uh, these things on the back, I don't know what you would call them. I guess fins of some sort. I mean, they just look like big bundles of cauliflower to me. But, I mean, that's the only kind of weird design for Earthtron. I really don't know what these are called. I'm just going to say some, there's some sort of fins, but, I mean, just very nice, you know, detail all the way around. Uh, teeth are very nicely etched in there, and those are also very nice white. Uh, just very nice detail and paint job all the way around with Earthtron. And now onto articulation, uh, his arms will kind of swivel, well, they're almost like a 360, but you really can't get them to turn a full 360 because they will brush up against his sides, and you'll have to bend them out quite a bit to get them to get around that. And But his legs will rotate a full 360 all the way around, and uh, no head articulation, but his tail does have a point of articulation, but it kind of is an odd-shaped joint. As you can see, as it's turned sideways there, it's really, you know, it kind of just bends out the vinyl. But, uh, I mean, just you just got to hold it in there secure so it doesn't pop out when you rotate it. But his tail will rotate a full 360, no glue seal there. And so, uh, very nice points of articulation on Earthtron here. And now on to sizing. Size him up with Jet Jaguar, just because I don't have any Ultraman. And uh, very nice sizing. I mean, Earthtron is a little bigger just because of his horn right here against Jet Jaguar. But uh, very nice sizing. It's not Again, it's not exact. You know, Bandai's all in the 6-inch scale, so nothing's going to be perfect. So this is as good as you can get, but still very nice sizing between the two. And that about does it for this review. Not too much to go over with, with these Bandai vinyls. But, hopefully that's not too close to the camera, pulling back a little bit there, just because I know he is a little taller than others. We are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This is the Bandai Earthtron figure. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.